we are here ready to cook our anemone. So we are going to get our sheet out. And this is actually one of the easiest ones to cook. So we're going to need a ruler. We're going to open it wide. And we are going to um, just make a little mark on each side. So we're going to do five petals of seven inches. So we're going to make a little mark here. And then on the other side, we are going to make a little mark here. So very simple. We are going to, you can do your exacto knife your crafting pen. They're on the website. They are pretty easy to work. And I am just going to make a little mark so I can follow that same line. So we're gonna make seven of those. So now we're gonna divide the rest. So we're gonna do 10 inches. We're gonna measure also 10 inches here. And then the last 10 inches so we got here. And we are going to do this sheet is 27, so it should be perfectly 10 inches. And we are going to cut. So very simple. Then we are going to, you can see we're going to cut the mark. Doesn't have to be perfect. This is actually a very simple uh, cutting process because you don't even really need templates. Um, it's just like a perfect little curvature with squares. So you got. So can you all see that? And we are going to cut right through it. And then we have, very easy, and this is the best way I've found to make squares. Fold it perfect like that. And you cut your perfect little square. Five of these, so that's three. One, two, three, four. Hmm. This one's coming out four. So you got one, two, three, four, and a little extra space. So we're going to get the last one out of this, but we are going to take out first one. So we're just going to fold it. Then two. These sheets are, mm, it's not that perfect, but it doesn't really matter. Because we are, remember when they get thermal form, it's going to change a little bit. So we're going to do... Three. We're going to need five of these, okay? Okay, so we've got these little leftovers. And we're going to get one, two, three. And five. So you got one, two, three, four, five. And then we should be left with this extra one, but sometimes this this sheet is probably one of the short ones. So we are just going to cut this little this square, one, two, three, four, and five.
So we have now five and five. So this is very simple. We're just gonna do a diana diagonal fold. And from this edge, we're just gonna do a round it off, perfectly round off like that. That's it. This is the only thing you need to do. On the 10 petals. This um, flower is 10 petals, so it's not heavily petaled. But we do have a very unique bud. So you have it here too. And remember, we are very important, not gonna throw away all our strips. They will not be used with this flower. I'm sorry, in this flower, repeat that. It's gonna help us in our bud. Three. and five. So from one edge, you just make, and that's it. Now we're gonna do the big ones. So we're going to cut this out the same way as round as you can. That's it. So just round. There is no perfect round or this one's a little bit bulkier or doesn't really matter when we uh, thermoform them. So we got two. So you just want to take like the little edges off, right? You don't want it to be pointy. And here we go again. So it's, you see, to the side. And then we go like that. So. Pretty easy, simple, easy peasy. Very easy. So now we're going to put this all in our little bag. Oh, we're going to move the bag. This one's over here. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. These little square pieces we do. We use them on these. We're gonna put in our bag. And that's about it. Very simple. Five pieces and five pieces. This is seven by seven, 10 by 10. So we now have here our pieces for our bud. We have our leftover anemone, and we are going to start by following the instructions. We're gonna do, we're gonna mark it at 1.75 inches, 1.75 inches, and then 1.5 five inches and then 1.25 inches and then one inch one inch one inch three one inch four and you just need that little piece that we will use so we're going to do the same thing over here 
1.5, 1 inch, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're going to cut from 1.75 to 1.75. So this is our widest strip in black. I'm going to use my crafting pen. Then we, you can use your X-Acto, your scissors, you can mark it, and then we've got the 1.5. come out that perfect. 1.5, this is a little bit shorter. And then the 1.25. And then the rest are one inch. And yeah, I think I measured it a little bit too much. So this is one inch, yes. So we wanna make sure, you know, if I leave it here. One inch. Then it's a little bit. I know you can see one inch. And then we've got where's the marking here and here. One inch, so you got four. One, two, I think this was 1.25. And I don't know, I don't see it. 1.75, 1.5, 1.25. .5, 1 .5. And we're going to leave this just a little bit bigger than this one because I think I made a mistake, but it's not a big deal. Because this one. So there we go. 1.75, 1.5, 1 1.25, and one inch, and you're left with, oh, here it is, no wonder. This one was one, two, three, and then four, 1.75, 1.5, 1.25, and one inch. And you're left with three, one inch, okay? So very simple, we are going to these four larger ones, we're gonna cut out teeth. So what do I mean by teeth? Very simple. You're just going to, like the little teeth, like that. You're gonna use the four largest ones. That means well, the 1.75, the 1.25. Now I always cut it and fold it in half. And at the very edge, you calculate your teeth. Now, they don't have to be perfect, and you don't want to go all the way down. So you're cutting the teeth that are going to go um, so you go here, and here we're going to do two. One, two. 1 1.75. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna cut our little teeth. One. Two. Make sure you leave probably less than half an inch. Two. 
poodle. Here we open it up and we just so maybe make sure this one's a little bit fatter, but it doesn't matter. Okay. 1.5. Now we go for the 1.25. And we're left with four, one inches. a little bit more. Ooh, you can see here. So we're at the middle, so we want to put one, we'll two that, one a little two that, and I think I'm going to make two here. They're going to be kind of thin. And there we go. So we got three, and then we take the last, so we're going to have four cut into T. And right here that we're at the very edge, we're going to make one, two, and three little teeth. So you got four. One inch, one, 1.25, 1 1.5, 1 and 1.75. So you got your teeth there. And these little one inch strips, we're going to leave them here. Now, what we're going to do with a white one. Clean this up. So we now have, so this is what we put away from our cuttings. We've got our seven black strips already cut and we're gonna cut this in 1.8 um, inches wide strips also so it's kind of like 1.8 1.75 so we're going to mark it right here 1. Point, let me mark it with this instead of cutting it 1.8 and then 1.8 basically 1.75 1.8 are left with a little one point eight here. So you got one, two, three, four, five strips. So we're gonna do the same to make sure we cut it properly. One point eight. One point eight. One point eight. One point eight. And one point eight. So almost perfect. So we're going to cut right here. We're going to make five 1.8 strips.
Uh oh. That one. So 1.8. And then we leave the last one. It wasn't properly cut, but we're just going to leave it. So we've got five strips of 1.8. Now with the rest of the purple, we're gonna do the same. We're gonna try to cut as many, many strips as 1.8 that we can. So we got here, so we're left. It doesn't matter how much you're left with. So you just wanna mark um, 1.8 around here somewhere and 1.8. And we got on this edge a little bit more, 1.8. So we're gonna mark and cut it. Well, we can go again and mark through this other part. 1.8, 1.8, as many as you can get, doesn't, doesn't really matter. It's just to make our little uh, bud a little bit fuller, 1.8, and that's actually 1.8. So if you get more or less, do not worry, it's not, uh, it's not a certain amount. We're just going to go around the bud and place as much little pistols as we can. So here I'm just going to eyeball it a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to eyeball it here too. This one still looks a little bit. This one looks a little bit wider. Now. It doesn't have to be perfect because they are going to be stretched out. You know, so you want, obviously this is, we're not gonna use that, right? So you just wanna cut and make sure from your leftovers that you've got this little it's gonna be pretty stretched out and they're gonna turn into little pistols. So, we're gonna grab our strips and I fold them in four, you know, cause I'm just going to, you don't cut all the way but you are going to cut like half an inch all the way inside. These are brown like that. So we're going to do the same thing with the white ones. We're going to cut. And you can fold it in four, but it's a little bit harder to cut. And you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there you go, you've got a little teeth. Now what we're gonna do with all of these, I don't need so many is we're gonna round out the little edges. Well, first we got, we're gonna paint. Then I'm gonna, cause this one is like painting with the, um, at the same time that we cut. Cause it's just easier. Actually, it's just easier if you paint it first, but I'm usually, you know, used to cutting first. But I'm gonna finish cutting this one and cut ones that it's painted so you can, Choose if you prefer to paint or color first or which one you want to do first. So here we're going to do another little one. And this one is a little bit too big, but that's good enough. So let me show you what we're going to do with the paint. I always try to divide the painting from the cutting, but in this case, I 
think it's just easier, so we're gonna get our black paint. I'm gonna use pastels in this in this tense. So right at the edge, you're gonna use your black. On both sides, I don't know if you can see that. Before you circle it up because it'll just be easier to paint like this. And you see, we've got the little edges. And we're gonna do it on the other side. Now, if you paint it before you cut it, this is the easy part, right? Because you just go like this. And you don't have to press it down while you're painting. So it has its, uh, its good things, right? So you got two. We're gonna paint all our little edges. And once we paint them, we round them up. So you see, painting them after you cut them, you gotta press them, right? And if you just got the whole gets dirty don't worry because we will have um, you know it's not perfect white and black it's the the anemone bud has grayish and you know now you can always have your wipey with you I will have mine so you can see if you don't like something you can just wipe it off that's the wonders of foam that's why I love foam so much the painting is just so easy to tell you we do have to make a little bit wider because we are going to have to hold it in our finger and stretch it once we warm every little pistol so now we got one two all these are cut and painted and these will only be, we've got our blacks. These are the ones we need to cut. So yeah, that's much easier. I just, you know, I usually do it, you know, like kind of by nature, but now that I'm recording, I like to try to divide my, um, you know, all the courses in the four steps. Cutting, painting, thermal forming, and assembling. You know, so, you know, because it's easier when you're starting off to have, you know, everything kind of in order. So you got number two. Now remember, if it's already painted, you need to cut the, the, the edge of the paint, right? So you can't really pick one side, it has to be the black paint.
have strip number three. And strip number four. So remember you can use lacquer, oil pastels. I actually even use like sometimes I use car, um, you know, charcoal and it works pretty well when you're going to do black. So here we go. So we're going to cut, make sure when you cut that you cut the edges of the black part. And we're going to cut like, what's this size? Let me, just to make sure. Yeah, it's half an inch, half an inch little teeth. four so I can go a little bit faster although there is the other part where you know your depends on how good your scissors are and you got to be careful you don't go through them now you know which ones are really good that I like a lot the little, the little small ones from dollar store they are so good especially for little details like this so you got two. This one came a little bit too fat, so I'm going to cut it there. I think I'm going to go double. It's just kind of less stressful. So one. See, I don't have my very good scissors here. I wonder where they are. that straight so I'm going to cut that little thing off. So now, this one we cut in half, it's a little bit too big. So now we have approximately, I would say, 8, 16, 24, 32, uh, kind of 32 plus 15, that's 47, 47 inches of purple anemone cut and teeth. And we've got our four white strips. Actually, it's 16. So you got this. So now we're going to do the other part, which is kind of, it's a little bit aggravating, but we're going to have to do round up a little edge. We're going to have to round up all the edges. 
I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna stand up so you can see. So you just round up, and we're gonna do this to all the strips. Yeah, it's kind of like a tedious thing. But it's also kind of like suiting. You know, it's, um, if you're a crafter, which I'm sure you are, if you're taking this course and doing this flower, you're definitely a crafter. Uh, it is soothing. Now, I do have to say, I left this black too thin here. So, you want to make it a little bit, little fatty. Because it's very at the edge. Remember, that's going to be like the little top part of the pistil. So I'm just going to give it an extra little color here. Now we're going to do the other side. So whichever way it goes easier for you. just supposed to be a little rounded and pointy so I'm going to put a little bit more paint here. On the other side. And we're going to round off these little See? Round it. And on the other side. go to so we're going to put it here with the black ones and we're going to continue cutting all these little patients Yeah, the anemone bud is a very complicated, but you can make it easy. If you, you know, you have your cutouts the way you're supposed to. Getting a little bit too pointy, but here we go. So we're going to continue this. I don't think I should record this long, but you're going to finish them all up. I think I'm just going to do a time lapse of this. So it won't be so boring. I'm 
Now let me do a white one. Now it's supposed to be a little bit round, like oval, the edge of the shape. But you know, when you stretch it, when we're gonna stretch it and thermoform it, it just kind of grabs the the shape. So. So here we go. I think I'm gonna do a time lapse with the rest, guys. Just so it won't be so boring. So can you see? It's a little bit pointy, but it's fine. So let me do a time lapse. So we are not going to count our anemone uh, leaves, so we need six of these and six of these. Uh, very simple, so you got your sheet of foam and we are going to actually kind of cut in six squares as perfect as you can. This one's looking a little bit longer, so you're, you're folding it in three as possible and then we're going to fold it in half we're going to try to keep them as straight as possible you can always also measure it i kind of do it this way the fastest way so because you are going to place your leaf you're going to cut squares and you're going to place your leaf like that and cut it out okay so we are going to get our six squares as perfect as possible and we're going to cut the anemone leaf is a very very unique leaf kind of leaf so you may want to mark it and then cut it out first per square. You may want to use your crafting pen. Or, you know, I'm going to do two options, okay? So we're going to grab one square, place our leaf straight as possible and then you can only either mark it or use the same scissors make marks so you know where, where to cut or use your crafting pen now, the um, anemone leaf is a very unique type of leaf.
I guess kind of up. Now I need more here. So we're going to mark the sleeve. Can you see how it's all kind of marked? And then we're just going to cut. So we're going to cut through the markings. see all the markings so maybe on the camera they don't show but they will show on your phone make sure you don't use a pen because well I mean you can but you'll just have trouble cutting it because it, it'll it'll mark it you know no I didn't get the perfect mark here but I'm gonna calculate it straight in there. All the way towards the inside. And there we go. So we have one. Now let's try another one with our crafting pen. So here we have a very, very sharp little blade, but you have to keep it like perfectly straight. The blade so it'll cut perfectly. So here we go. Take all this off. Woo! That was some nice cutting. And then we're gonna go the other side. Make sure the blade is straight. Oh. 
hold the template straight. this off and we've got our oh I have this little glue on the back you have that little thing there and here we go we've got our leaf number two now with these little strips that we have left over, we're gonna put in this little leaf in here. So we just need six of these. So I'm gonna be cutting it out from the leftovers. Now they don't have to be perfect because these are basically only helping the um, to do. Well, let's see how others come out. Oh, here's one. Perfect. One, two. Does this one fit here? No, it doesn't. So. Now, you can use it there. Here we go. So I'm going to use my crafting pen again. I'm actually going to push it a little bit towards this side. And we're going to put our crafting pen as straight as possible. Start cutting. Goes straight.
there we go. Let's take this off. Let's just make sure all the right parts cut off and we don't stretch it too much here. So this one went kind of funky. So we just fix that. Then we've got our little space here for this one. And you've got uh, you've got leaf number three and leaf number three. So we're gonna continue this until you have your six and six.